welcome to tonight's recap of Dancing with the Stars. Another great pro dance open until <laughs> the celebrities ruined it. Things got weird. They just like panned across the line they and they're like, all just like... No. <laughs> Alright, well they had to incorporate them somehow. Because this week Julianne Huff is back. They did something a little different with the intro. They had the judges walk out. Because they had to showcase Julianne Huff, duh. I was like, what's going on? This is going to be like American Idol every week now? No. no. It's just because Julianne is there. She's like the biggest star the show has ever seen. Well. Maybe. Other than the guest, you know, performers that come I don't on. Know. But I mean. It's, it's tough to judge She that. did a good job. She's been in lots of movies and everything. All right, let's begin. <laughs> Jack and Cheryl with a quick step. Cheryl's getting very pissy in rehearsals. <sighs> she's always been a total B with her partners because she's like the female Derek Huff. She expects a lot. She's not going to put up <laughs> with any, <laughs> with any uh, crybabies. Yeah. So Jack's making excuses. He's like, I know you'd rather dance with Corbin, but whatever. <laughs> What? Where did that come from? I don't from? know. He's that very really fixated weird. on Corbin. That was really weird. It's like some kind of weird love triangle. I don't know. On there. Let's talk about dance their dance. Triangle. He kind of looked like a stiff teddy bear in a vest. Not a that little there's bit. anything wrong with that. No, but, but dancing wise, there is something wrong with that. <laughs> it was kind of shaky at times. He got a 24. By the way, <laughs> did anyone happen to notice all the triple scores tonight? They were all unanimous. Every single score. <laughs> it was a little crazy. Yeah. All right. There a lot of ties tonight. Did anybody notice the crazy bald guy who <laughs> was like vlog bombing <laughs> Kristen Davis's interview when it was um, weird? He was like, <laughs> it was scary. All right. So. But yeah, she was there to support Elizabeth. Right. So Elizabeth and Val had an Argentine tango. Their video package was kind of strange. The crazy's starting to come out. There's some weird staring thing She that just went wanted on. to gaze in his eyes for a little while to work on their connection. I think she was trying to steal his soul. I don't know. Jeepers creepers, did you see those peepers? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so they did a pretty standard uh, Argentine tango. There wasn't a lot of lifts in there, but... It's only the beginning of the season. Yeah. I thought it was good. It isn't by any chance or shot, whatever, one of the best Argentines ever on the show because there have been yeah. some very good Argentines. There have been tangos. some amazing ones. So, I mean, it's not up there, but yeah. it was respectable. It was good. But for this season's uh, dancing, it was very good. Why? What's wrong with this season? There's been a some good dancing. Uh, not like in past seasons where there were like multiple like wow. This season there's a few. That's what happens. You get spoiled by that all-star season. Exactly. All right. So this was a 27. What is with the weirdness of her just she kept keep getting, getting in, in his, his face? face. Ah! She's like this. Yeah. <laughs> so then they talked about how there's so many injuries this season. That's it every seems, season. No, but it seems like this season there's pound for pound a lot more injuries this season. I don't season. know. It seems like everybody's got something. Well, speaking of injuries, Brant has hurt his foot and... He hurt it last week. Yeah, but he's got injuries from life, too. He was in a car accident and he hurt his shoulder. He's got the scars to prove it. I guess he had surgery on it. Um, excuse me, I think it was a bike accident. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Brent and Peta Correct. were dancing salsa this week, which is so much fun. Um, but she, she wants, wants to throw in all the these tricks. crazy tricks. Stop with the tricks already. This isn't like the finals yet. There's so much you can do in salsa without lifts. Like, I understand that she wants to push the limits and stuff, but if your partner can't do the lifts confidently... Don't force him. Yeah. He can't do it. He's hurt. It's not like he doesn't want to do it. He physically can't do those. What the hell is up with our costume? <laughs> like, it was super low on the JJ. <laughs> I was like, where does that begin? Uh, so, yeah. They did the lifts. 
And they were a little shaky. There were lots of lifts. I think that this dance would have been much stronger if he didn't have to worry about those lifts because I think he was probably preoccupied think so. throughout the whole dance thinking like, oh my god, it's coming up, it's coming it up. It seems like the lifts were incredibly like toddlerish too. Like they'd start out like, ooh, do, am I gonna make it through this move? Uh, yeah, I made it. Okay, I don't next know. One. I mean, they were cool lifts, but I think it hurt the performance. Well, the judges made up for it because they all. Oh, Wanted to get in his pants. Oh my god, <laughs> calm down. Including Bruno. All right, so Valerie and well, Tristan. They got a 21. Okay. Valerie and Tristan. I wanted to get away from that I know. as soon as possible. <laughs> Valerie and Tristan up next with a Viennese waltz. I'm surprised they gave her V dubs because. That's tricky. She doesn't want to quit either. She wants to be a real trooper. Yeah. And she forgot the steps. Yeah, she looked a little bit lost with the choreography. She did have pretty arms, though. Yeah, the be the beginning was very pretty, and then it just... She's a nice lady, but it may be her time to go. They got an 18. All right, so Leah and Tony had a little cha-cha. She's improving, I have she to is. say. Her body is transforming. She's like, She's I got good. 24s the last two weeks. I want some nines this week. So she was like really pushing it, but it wasn't nine material. You know what? She's looking really good. Why would they put her in that hideous costume? It was scary. I guess she didn't want to show a lot of skin, so that was a way to get around it. But She got some nasty tats or something? I don't know. <laughs> You know, her body's getting good looking, you know, svelte, and she had those weird, like, strings hanging off the fringe. legs, fringe, hanging off the legs of her co- it was like these weird long hairs. Alright, well let's talk about the dancing. They did a cha-cha, and my main issue with this cha-cha was that her knees were really bent for a lot of the dance, and cha-cha, you're supposed to have straight legs, so... 24. <laughs> Another 24. <laughs> Corbin and Karina, Pasa Doble. I was expecting this to be fantastic, and, and I was, was not disappointed at all. Except you know what? with the judges' scores, though. All right. You know what I really liked about this dance? I like that it was pretty much classic Pasa Doble. Like, it wasn't the traditional music, but it was close right. to it. And they did actual Paso with no gimmicks, and yes. it was awesome. I loved it, and I was shocked that there was no tens. Yeah. 20 freaking 7? Are you kidding me? That was the best dance of the night. He did have a few issues with, like, the posture a little bit with the hip placement, which is, like, really big in Paso. But, I mean, dancing with the stars-wise, that routine deserves some 10s. I'm surprised Bruno didn't pull out the 10 paddle. He should be paddled. <laughs> All right, so Sneakers <laughs> and Sasha were up next with a jive. This got really personal. She had to bring down the entire world with her eating disorder. <laughs> I feel bad for her because I also had an eating disorder in high school. And um, on top of it, she was sick this week. Yeah, so they were doing a jive, and it was like a cheerleader-themed dance, which is why she brought up the whole high school thing, because she was a high school cheerleader. Right. I thought this was really fun. And energetic, but as far as jive... You know, some of the technique was yeah. missing with the kicks and everything. They're supposed to be a lot sharper. But it was really fun to watch. She is very short, Carrie Ann, but you have to rem remember, she's a mother. She, she is, is a, woman. a mother. She's a grown woman. Not a little girl. We don't want to see a cartoon of her as a little girl. We want to see a grown-ass woman cartoon. All right. <laughs> well, they got a 24. All right, so Christina and Mark up next with a foxtrot. She was all crybabying because she thought she was in the bottom last week. But the annoying thing about the way that they do the bottom two now is that you may not actually be in the bottom two when I hate you're in that. the bottom two. I absolutely hate that. I don't like that. I like them to be able to see like, where they stand. We can handle the truth. We can handle it. Please let us know what the truth is. <laughs> you didn't like the footwork. It just felt a little not smooth. <laughs> I was bored. I mean, there were some moments, but I don't know. I, did, I just didn't think it was anything special. I kind of agree with Julianne, too. I want to see, like, a different side of her. I feel like it's been a little bit one note um, okay. the past few weeks. But I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. 24. I, I agree with that. I thought it was a yeah. 24. All right. Amber and Derek. 
with a tango. She's got some bad knees happening. She's having some knee issues. She had to have the fluid drained, and they didn't get to start dancing, really, until, like, Friday. She was creeping on him and another girl demonstrating the dance, Lindsay. but she didn't actually get to start dancing until Friday. And you never would have known it. This dance was probably one of my favorites of the night. Maybe my absolute ultimate grand supreme of the night. <laughs> she did really, really, really great. Yeah, their hold was rock solid. Yeah. Her head placement was pretty good. Her footwork was good. This whole little package also contained one of the best moments of the night. When <laughs> they picked up $10 off the floor, threw it at Julianne, and Bruno says, I'll, I'll have it. Well, because it was Derek giving it to Julianne, right. like, oh, I'm paying you off for, like, a good score. He just wanted it. She was it. like, ten bucks, and Bruno was like, oh, I'll take that. Yeah, it was good. It was really funny if you had seen it. <laughs> had to be there, I guess. Yeah. All right, so Bill and Emma were up last. Did you last. say what they got? They got a 27. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> it's just a blur. All, All right. right. Bill and Emma with a samba. Um, he cracked her head last week. It didn't really crack. She hit her head on the floor during dress yeah, rehearsal. Yeah, cracked it on the floor. Yeah, but when you say that you crack your head, it kind of sounds like it's bleeding uh, when I was No, when I was a kid, it, crack your head was always like you hit it on something. All right, so this was fun-ish. Yeah, it was really, really fun to watch because you could tell that he was having a great time, and that always adds to a performance. But it was really awful. Yeah. <laughs> the timing was off. And the technique wasn't really there. Samba is really, really tricky. Everybody loves him, but he really sucks. But <laughs> I saw a different side of Bill tonight, and I felt horrible. Because oh when they told him that they were safe, he just started crying, and you could tell he really wants to be there, and it's just sad. I didn't feel horrible. Like, I, felt I, felt bad. I felt good. I felt well, I mean, good I felt that bad that, like, a great time. that like, we don't really want him on the show. I do want him on the show. Well, I think you weren't saying that before. He's not a great dancer. I mean, I'm thinking that he's probably going to be going home next week, but he's had fun. I've had fun watching him. I feel bad him. because I can tell he really is enjoying himself. It's sad, but Bruno thought he was going to wet himself. <laughs> <laughs> that was the second best. Bruno was on night. fire tonight. He really was. So they ended up with a 21. Yeah, and like I said, Tom told them Guess what? You're, You're safe. safe. And he cried like a little newborn baby, just been born. All right. Seven pounds, five ounces. All right. <laughs> so this is not necessarily the bottom two. Brant and Peta, come on. And Valerie and Tristan. Yep. So this week it was Valerie and Tristan. She's a classy lady. She, she took it really well, and I loved her reasoning at the end. You know, she just wanted to prove something and show everybody out there. You well, know. she did. I really, I, I felt more emotional for her speech though than Bill Engvall. I'm just <laughs> saying. I didn't compare it. I'm just right. saying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> did anyone notice the faces that Tristan was making the whole like last five minutes? That's like his life. Okay. He always does that. <laughs> what? You haven't been around that much. Oh, man. Maybe it was a nervous thing. I don't know. He is such a cute little leprechaun. <sighs> Next week, memorable moments from their lives captured in dance. Should but not just any dance. Ballroom or Latin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or whatever. Who knows? It might be contemporary. Till next time. Much, much love. love.